Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be looking at customizing our NeoFetch even further from what we have here to adding in a custom image to our NeoFetch. So first things first, I'd like to thank my channel members. These are Miss Love and Von Garden. They support me and they get early access to videos such as this and have a little badge next to their name. Like when they have a comment on a stream that says, I support him, why don't you? Anyway, so let's get into the video. Now you're probably wondering, well, why do I want an image on my Neo effect? I like my heresy that I'm committing here. Well, for starters, as we all know, that I, I like my Windows XP themed desktop. But that's not good enough. Uh, I like to encourage some fun sometimes. So, there's a few things that we can do. For example, we can just give it a uh, one-time little change up to, say, LFS. Or, better yet, Apple. Sorry, Mac OS. There we go. But So we can change it up a bit. But, no, we want something a bit more permanent. We want a permanent fixture as part of our NeoFetch install. So, first things first that we need to install is we need to install W3M. Now, what this will do is this will all allow the NeoFetch to actually load the image up and deposit it into the terminal. Now, to do that, in my case, it's just going to be sudo apt install W3M. Name it the password. I realise I didn't put the password in correctly. There we go. And as we can see here, W3M is already set to the newest version. Uh, ignore all of these that need that, although I might need that NVIDIA SMI. I'll do that later. But what we've got here is W3M installed. So we need to make a f some changes to our config. So first things first is we're going to do clear. We need to do cd2. Slash config or cd2 dot config even yeah dot config and now if we look here we have what we have here is auto starts uh, all, all of these and what we need here is neo fetch so cd into neo fetch I will just make this a bit larger so we're in neo fetch and what we have here is a config dot conf so, what we want to do, in my case, I'm just going to nano into it because it's quicker for me to do it like this. Config.conf. And we have the usual uh, displaying of the information. As we can see, most of this has been enabled for me because that's what I want. Um, yeah. We'll uh, include battery information just for some fun whilst we can. Uh, so what we want is we want to go right down to the bottom of the file. And we need to find, well it's apparently not at the bottom of the file, but we need to find a line uh, that will then allow us to use uh, images inside of NeoFetch. Now, what we can see here is this is just general uh, information about how to deal with the image. Uh, only works on the W3M backend, so that's if we want it to offset the image, which we don't. Uh, image backend color, again, only works with W3M. We're just going to leave that alone for the time being. So what we need to do is we need to scroll up. We can actually change uh, the images, so it rotates between a few various images if we wanted to, but in my case, no, we're just going to leave it be. Uh, for the ASCII image is bold, uh, like bold if we wanted to, but we don't. Uh, this is my my custom line. As you can see, it's got the Windows XP. Uh, so which so image backend. Now in this case, because we want to use uh, W3M, we change the image backend to W W3M, and we need to give it a image source. Now what we'll do here is we will just Open up a quick new tab. Just open this up, clear CD into desktop and look for the one that says heresy, which is there. So CD heresy. And then it is this.png. So we do ls-la this.png. Okay, so 
PWD, home, nick, desktop, heresy, this.png. So, what we can just, just do to make that easier is we'll just copy, paste, and then slash dot this dot png. And what this will do is it will then save the config. And if we do NeoFetch, uh, this is expected, this does happen because of issues with the terminal. Now, because I am using the GNOME terminal, uh, it is known to produce some issues. So what we can do is we can open this back up. And scroll all the way back down until we find our file. Now, crop mode normal, we will do fit. Uh, fit, and then we will go crop offset center. Image shows will be auto, gap between image and text. So we're just going to leave most of this alone. Uh, not going to touch it unless we need to, but in this case, everything is now set properly as, as how we would want it. It is actually loading the image, but because it's having an issue finding, well, actually loading up the image, it's we know it's working. So what we want to do is path to image, ASCII or directory. Now we could just change it to get rid of the file and just go to the directory and find files in the directory. So now that we've, I try, I just tried to uh, use vim exit commands for NeoFetch. How hilarious. So now we will do NeoFetch. It's trying it, but it can't find the image, which again, it's fine. So we once again uh, go into NeoFetch, the NeoFetch config. Scroll on down, keep going until we find something. Here we go. So what we want here is W3M and then we could just disable the, we could just disable it in its entirety. But what we will do is image source, auto will pick the best image source for whatever image backend is used. If in ASCII mode, a distro ASCII app will be displayed in and in an image mode, your wallpaper will be used. So image source auto and image backend the W3M. So again, let's try to use the correct exit for this. So. Now, this is a expected behavior of this because, well, it's, well, yeah, it is an expected behavior because it is issues with the it's images, it's issues with the terminal emulator. Now, this does happen, but as we can see, it is actually trying to load it. So what we can do is we can drop, we will drop in a couple more images just just as a little test to make sure it's working now the first one will be once again the same image in its original format and a little a little surprise image so of course we want to go back we will just drop these into the heresy file and do neofetch play neofetch uh, come up to this one. Color blocks. No, right. So pick the best image source. So what we want to do is want to do slash home nick desktop heresy. And yeah, that's correct. So Help if I didn't try and use. So unfortunately, it's not loading up, which is an expected outcome. So what we will do is we will go into the config and then try and find uh, deleted. pix term. We'll use pix term as a one that we can try. So so we're going to have to install pixterm. Feed it the password. Unable to locate pixterm. Uh, okay, how about term picks? 
unable to locate that. Okay, how about... Oh, I don't know. Uh, JP2. Uh, so JP2. So JP2 is installed. So what we'll do is we'll come down to the image backend. And then what we'll do is we'll just change that to JP2A. Uh, help if I did not try and... Oh. I'm trying to exit Neo. Uh, Nano using Vim. Uh, commands. But here we go. Yeah, so this is ever so slightly broken. <laughs> Because what it's doing is it's loading the image in ASCII format. <laughs> which is hilarious. So, I don't know which one of those images is loading. But I, I will quickly just show the images. There was the nightmare that is the logo for Pseudo. It re that really is the logo for Pseudo. Uh, just go to sudo.ws. It is genuinely a thing. Uh, this one, you may recognize this from one of my older tutorials. And then the same thing, but in a PNG format instead of WebP. But as we can see, it does work. You may have to change things around a bit, but an, an ASCII of a non ASCII image. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly put this back. And I would like to thank you all very much for watching. If you like the. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. They both seem to work. Uh, whilst you're down there, maybe consider leaving a comment saying why this, why you liked the video if you liked it. If you disliked it, tell me why. Uh, I want to know what you've got to say. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, Goodbye.